मिसेस सिद्दीक तो हेलो सर हाउ आर यू डूइंग आई एम गुड सो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर इंट्रोडक्शन यस आई विल वॉक यू थ्रू टू द होल प्रोसेस ऑफ गेटिंग जर्मन ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गाइज आई लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन द प्रोसेस स्टेप बाई स्टेप एज यू नो वी हैव बिन लिविंग हेयर फॉर क्वाइट लॉन्ग टाइम and uh, luckily we have recently got our driving license yeah, that's uh, yes. kind of wonderful feelings i would yeah. say we can now drive all the ty- all type of cars yeah. so the first of all uh, the main step i remember of course you have done in other city and i have done in other city yeah. so the process i am going to say uh, from capital of germany and this process is uh, i guess overall the same so first of all you we have to i mean if somebody is interested to do driving <laughs> license yeah. he has to <laughs> he has to register himself first of all at the driving school yeah, yeah. so once he is registered there uh, he has to pay some money at driving school uh, fees uh, i guess it's 160 euro no, how much yeah. did you paid yeah. i paid like 160 euro for uh, registration at the school yeah. and at the same time they, the school has given me a uh, uh, application where they said okay you can go through to the mm-hmm. questions all theoretical questions and you have to prepare your test by yourself of course i had a license from my home country mm-hmm. so that's why i did not have to take some lessons okay. so then uh, with that 160 euro mm-hmm. i got my application mm-hmm. and then i gone through to uh, health and safety test and i did my eyes test so three steps with 160 euro mm. the next step i went to uh, burger amt is is called like government office or something mm. where i had to register i have to show my documents my eye test my health and safety for example first aid mm. certificate to them and they made a document for me okay. so that document i kept it in my folder mm. until i did my exam for theoretical exam just uh, to be one uh, sorry uh, we uh, disrupt you so actually i think uh, regarding the less uh, the starting fees because in magdeburg i think i paid uh, quite quite high aha like, uh-huh, okay I okay i paid like almost 340 euros something 340 euros like, okay like initial package mm-hmm. from them so uh, it means it's very it's different. like very different from city to yeah. city but that is uh, they, these are fees from uh, private schools private school, so these yeah. private school can charge high or low for example sure, right. so where i gone they charge me less so of course i registered i'm uh, moving forward from my uh, government burger amt yeah. for example so i registered there and i got one document mm. that document i put it in my folder and at the meantime i prepare myself for theoretical exam yeah. theoretical exam there was an application and uh, in that application uh, i had to prepare like 1400 or 300 questions like online these questions are available in different languages okay. let's say english arabic german of course i think it's almost like 12 languages 12 languages yeah. okay <coughs> yeah, yeah yes you are right course, yeah of course mm-hmm. and uh, then uh, i gone through to my uh, practical uh, sorry theoretical exam and luckily uh, i passed my exam mm-hmm. uh, at the first attempt alhamdulillah so i would say so it was only one failure point failure point i just you know, sneak in to pass then i passed my exam mm-hmm. then once i passed my exam then the second main part of the driving license start f- after passing your theoretical exam so you have to uh, pay money each time to your driving instructor so he can t- he can take you to driving classes and so this is one option either you pay for each lesson or you can make one whole prize mm-hmm. for example if your instructor say i will charge charge you 100 uh, 1500 or 2000 mm-hmm. for example so with that 2000 he will be responsible until you pass your driving mm-hmm. exam But so what i paid yeah i paid like 1300 mm-hmm. euros and he was responsible till my okay. a, a pass i mean till my uh, license for example mm-hmm. how much like uh, there was like questions in the theoretical test mm. uh, in the theoretical exam there were only 100 questions to 100 points to pass okay. there were some questions contained 5 point fun some 3 some 4 mm. so you have to uh, pass the questions i mean you know cross the question mm. and at the end you come up with the question uh, with the answer if your points are uh, i guess 90 or something then you are pass okay. if you are you know 85 or 80 then you are fail 
it depends it, it depends on how many you failed mm-hmm. i mean how many you made wrong questions during your exam so all together it's point based if you fail 10 point then you are fail mm-hmm. if you fail 9 point then you are pass out of 100 let's say 91 is a passing marks so, yeah. and 90 or 88 or 85 are like fail marks so it means if someone like is getting 91 percent so it means he is pass he is pass yeah. because yeah. he if he got like 90 percent or uh, 89 he is fail yeah. Yeah. so this is something a little bit confusing but i think when somebody start his process yeah. he understand everything i mean how is the uh, passing criteria and how he can mm-hmm. you know do uh, the things but what i remember i i think there were like some kind of 30 questions 30 questions yeah, yes you are right yes yeah. each questions contain 3 5 4 yeah, yeah. these are All you know right. these are the marks yeah. from the points so then uh, i'm going forward from my yeah. practical exam yeah. uh, point of view i paid to my instructor like 1300 and i took almost 15 or 20 lessons mm. so i paid one prize and he helped me through i passed my i mean He helped me through my uh, uh, lessons until I passed my driving exam. Now the main thing is, I did my practical, sorry, theoretical exam. Then I did my practical exam. Of course, I paid. I paid one time. Once my instructor said, "Okay, you are ready to uh, to sit in the exam," then he booked my practical exam uh, at uh, government burger amt or maybe driving school li- uh, building or something i don't know where he booked but he did it dekra yes you are right dekra or there's also tuf tuf yeah. but uh, mine was dekra okay. so he booked it and uh, exam costed almost 300 euro each time but he will add 150 euro because he will ask you to come 100, 1 hour before so he will make you a little bit you know familiar with the driving and then you can sit one in the exam like, yeah, class, yeah, yes class. like one more class so yeah. this is how i did of course i failed few times but at the end i got my license so uh, i have i am going to give you an overview yeah. for example uh, the process we will yes. i will try to sum up the things so first of all i registered myself at a school because it is very important you have to register yourself at driving school otherwise you cannot do your driving license further i registered at school i paid 160 euros they gave me an application i prepared my theoretical exam yeah. at the same time the school were responsible was responsible for my how can i say health and safety uh, health and safety test and i test they asked me to go do i test from somewhere of course it was free and then first aid test also they also helped me to do that then i prepare my theoretical exam there was 1500 1300 questions mm-hmm. after that i registered myself at the same time at uh, government office burger amt so driving uh, office or something, something yeah. so i registered there and they gave me a paper i put that paper in my folder until i pass my theoretical exam once i have passed my theoretical exam then i uh, started uh, doing my practical exam there were two options one option either you pay e for each lesson which cost 100 euro per hour or something 100 euro for one uh, 90 minutes for example or you can make one prize the, that's called pauschal in german for example so you make one prize and uh, the instructor will be or your school will be responsible until you pass your driving exam so i picked the second option i paid him one time one prize like it was 1300 euros yeah. and uh, i did with him like 13 or 14 or 15 lessons after 15 lessons my instructor said that i am ready to take the exam yeah. so he registered my exam at dekra or tuf in my case it was dekra dekra is an office where you register yourself and you know yeah. that is the whole process and then from that uh i he has booked my after 15 lesson he has booked my exam at dekra and he paid like of course i paid he booked it i paid uh, almost 300 euros for one one time exam for one practical exam of course he will charge me 150 euro more because he asked me to come one hour before my exam so he can you know make me a little bit familiar with the driving and then i can sit in my exam 
and uh, of course uh, exam was not so easy i i failed two times mm. and then uh, third time i guess i passed and uh, of course uh, once i passed that at the end i calculated how much i have paid i paid almost uh, 3000 euros you know yeah almost so, 3000 euros uh, you said uh, earlier that you paid like paushal yes. 3000 euros so no the paushal for driving it was one 1300 or 1500 yeah. something i forgot really so uh, to, I mean, uh, you, you mean like the total? You are just total amount for my practical uh, including, training. Including like till passing you. you uh, yeah, till I pass, he will okay. be responsible to, you know, do driving lesson with me. Let's say I need 50 lessons, or 30 lessons, 40 lessons. Mm -hmm. He will be responsible within that price. Okay. Of course, once he book my exam, after booking an exam, he will charge 150 or a little bit extra because you know a second time exam yeah. he bring his car maybe insurance is included there are so many things you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so and uh, finally i passed my exam and i got my license that was very nice feelings okay. i can yeah. say so uh, i guess i have some of the thing if you still have any questions i can explain uh, the things well uh, generally you have like clarified really good and thank you I think, uh, maybe just one or two questions i can put up what you think for example if someone is coming from asia from mm -hmm. pakistan from india from bangladesh if they wanted to do the driving lesson do you think is there, is there any benefit if they have like driving lesson from their own country and mm -hmm. they are doing yes uh, this is very good question uh, if somebody come with his own driving license yeah. from his homeland mm -hmm. then it's called uh, Uber Schreibung or something, uh, Umschreibung. Umschreibung, it means that, uh, that's the German word, that it means you don't have to take your theoretical uh, lessons mm -hmm. at the school. Normally, if somebody is new, he has to register in the school. Because he is new, he has to take uh, driving a theoretical exam in the school, like minimum 10 to 20 hours. Classes, yeah. Classes, yes, of course. Sorry, not exam, classes. So somebody can come up yeah. on the board, they explain to him, then he can prepare his theoretical exam, then go for practical. Yeah, yeah. If somebody come in from outside India, Pakistan, Bangladesh or whatever, if any other country, he has his own license. So he will be exempted from these classes in the school. So he just registered himself, mm -hmm. then prepare theoretical exam at home. He doesn't have to attend uh, classes for theoretical exam. Okay. So these are the, the only ma main uh, exemption for them. Okay, so uh, the other thing he has to do everything. Yeah, yeah. So it means yeah. only the like the uh, theoretical classes he's exempted. He's otherwise exempted. Otherwise he has, has to do everything. To all, the, all the processes yeah, like so same. Yeah. I, I will say just one uh, word for the one sentence that uh, according to my experience, yes. people, <laughs> I didn't have like any benefit to be honest. Yeah. Like, uh -huh, okay. What I have like earlier from Pakistan and. Well, so I you took these I, practice, theoretical exam uh, classes as well? Uh, well, not to be honest, not I didn't have like to, ah. but the process. You the po yeah, yeah, yeah. Process is the, the same. So is like from, yes, yes. From beginning to end, you know, so you have to do that. Doesn't give like what I think doesn't give any uh, any uh, major benefit, major benefit so, <laughs> yeah, towards the license. Yeah, to be like from your inside is okay. I have like some. Kind yes, of, yes, like, yes, yes, class. Country, <laughs> yes, so yes. Good, but, but it doesn't work here, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah most people know uh, how it happens yeah. in back home in Asian country. How you can get license there? Know, Everybody know that. knows that. Know that. <laughs> so I don't want to explain. I don't want to go yeah, into so details. Need to see, just, yeah. <laughs> but that's how it is. So well, uh, I think yeah. Th thank for your time, and I think yeah, we will be together in some. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much for your uh, time, and uh, it was a great, a great opportunity for me to explain according to my knowledge. I might have made missed out something, but I tried not to miss out something. That was the whole thing. Thank you very thank much, you sir. Very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.